Greetings fellow Watford fans, Omar here and it's time for the Yawns Friday Focus on Huddersfield versus Watford. That's right, Huddersfield Town against Watford coming up tomorrow in the Championship. Watford looking to continue their unbeaten run. It's currently at four games. That's their longest unbeaten spell for about a year now. Watford moving forward with some purpose and articulation of their identity on the pitch. It seems now that these lads are beginning to find their feet under Val Ishmael and his system that has been implemented. And really, the lack of discipline has dissipated on the pitch, at least in the last couple of games. And there's been some good football from a lot of players and not just one or two, which is good news for Watford as they travel to Huddersfield, a place where they've been relatively successful over the last few seasons, also in the Championship and in the Premier League, those two areas where Huddersfield have been over the last few years, but mostly in the Championship. Watford looking to continue their ways to remain unbeaten. They take on a Huddersfield side who are struggling at the minute. They're fourth from bottom at the moment. They have won three games this season, have lost six, and two of them in succession, those defeats, and three of their last five games. Now, Watford coming into this game will have the services of Ryan Andrews again, except I expect that he will be on the bench for this game. Jeremy Ngake is having his best spell as a Watford FC footballer. He has played very well in this unbeaten stretch. In fact, uh, Jeremy Ngake has played very well overall this season for Watford. And I think that he's going to be a key factor in tomorrow's game. The fluidity of the right back position to go to wing back and to bring the ball up the channels and orchestrate. One of the things you saw in the game, I believe it was last Saturday's game, Jeremy Ngake played very high up the pitch in what looked like a number 10 role for him. And I expect that you might see more of that. I thought that that was very effective because it helped open up other areas of the pitch for other Watford players. And I think it just made Watford more expansive. And it also helped out the midfield because then there was a channel to really bring that ball to as a focal point. And then Gake can spray play from the left, from the right. He is more wide mostly because that's where he is as a right wing back, obviously. But I like what Val was trying there with that particular move, having Ngake play deep through the center of the park in that number 10 role, just behind the front three. Now, if he continues to do that, I think that might yield some success for Watford. But this also, this also is a potential banana skin, banana peel game, if you will, for Watford. Taking a, an opponent lightly is something that we have done many times in a number of years over the last recent years, at times when we are expected, expected to go and beat an opponent because they're doing poorly in the division and they're having a bad patch of results. But you can't take any team lightly in the championship. And Watford must be aware of that tomorrow, going into an environment like Huddersfield Towns Stadium there, where it will be a tricky place for Watford to get three points from. Huddersfield are going to play desperately. They are going to be on the front foot. They're going to want to bring their home fans into the game. And Watford, of course, have of course, just got their last away win there at Swansea just about 10 days ago. Now we'll be looking to continue that run as well, having only won once other than the, other than the Swansea game. They've only won one other away game in this calendar year. And now we're in November, so we're near the end of the year. Watford have two away wins the entire calendar year. They'll be hoping to make it three tomorrow. And I think that if Watford continue to play the brand of football they've been playing lately, they will have a decent chance. But Huddersfield will not be an easy test for these Hornets. This has been the Yawns Friday Focus.